Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the live control switcher and how to use it. This switcher um, comes with the TriCaster Studio and it hooks up right to a USB port in the back of the TriCaster. It also comes with a keyboard where you can um, just typically type the same way you um, would normally and that also is connected to the TriCaster with a USB in the back. First, I just want to show you a little bit about the layout and how to use the TriCaster. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see. Okay, first we have the effects row right here with hotkeys. Cameras one through six are our options. External again is another input from like say a PowerPoint that you can use. DDR one and two, text, and then background. So if you wanted to put an effect in a monitor on a virtual set, for example, you could do that by just pressing background, and I'll just show you what the background looks like. And the background goes into a virtual set monitor, which looks like this. See if I put camera one or three into that monitor, you'll see the green screen that's existing right here. And if I choose background on the effects row, now I have that effect in that virtual set. Okay, great. Now back to the try the virtual set. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so on this live control bus, um, we also have what's online. That's the program or your live bus in the middle. If you take between them, they'll cut right on camera. If you are using preview, it'll preview what you want and then dissolve. So let me just show you what that looks like up here when I cut between um, camera two in the background. So on the live bus, okay, something like this. And I'm gonna cut between two and three. And you see that's live, that's happening as a take and it's happening between two signals instantaneously. However, if I put camera, let's say three on preview, and I use my fader bar on the, the actual um, TriCaster, it'll fade between the two using whatever transition is in my transition bank that is hot. So let me just show you what that looks like on the keyboard again. And I'm just gonna zoom at the switcher here and I'll show you what that looks like again. So I'm gonna cut between something, it's two to three, that's the instantaneous cuts between those two signals, and two to dissolve to three would be that three goes on preview, I'm hot on two, and I would use my fader bar and dissolve. And the fader bar is the next thing I'll talk about. When you dissolve between two things, you wanna make sure you go all the way up or all the way back. If you sit in the middle, you're gonna sit in a dissolve. So make sure when you're cutting or dissolving between two items that your fader bar is all the way up so that your signal is clear on both um, whatever channels you're using. The um, auto and take buttons here are simply so that you could take between two, two things preset without touching anything else. It's really, really simple to use. Over here, we have the ability to fade all, which would be fade everything that's hot altogether, which we don't always want to do um, because it'll take your text with you and it looks like this and it's not necessarily something everybody wants. It's taking all those signals and they're putting them all hot live like that. Okay. So we could also take all, which would be taking it all away. Here we have our DDR clips, which you can just scrub between with a simple click between the different clips that are there with just a turn of the wheel. And we're here, you can take it. You could take DDR1 and take DDR2 in your overlay section and then fade it up or take it, depending on what you wanna do. Um, and that's really it. That's what we use um, in the Digital Media 2 class. So again, you could choose to click on the interface using a mouse or you can use the live control 
um, switcher. I prefer the switcher, um, and I think you would too, because the mouse is extremely sensitive. And if you make one double click, you are instantly putting something on the air that you didn't want. Whereas your fingers are much more trustworthy. So for now, thank you for watching this tutorial. Upcoming, please click on the next thing you want to learn or explore about in the TriCaster.